I am back with another video guys. Today's video is May favors. I can't believe it's May. I swear I just did a April favorites I think and now it's a May favorites. The time is going by so fast. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to share with you and this is going to be about a little bit of makeup, um, a little bit of my skincare products and just some other random products that I really was feeling in the month of May and um, still feeling. So let's see the first thing I want to start talking about is the authentic black soap and this is it and the scent is lavender look look y'all I'm not the best with names okay so at least I'm admitting to y'all I don't know how to say this name so don't try to tear a sister up but the name is lavender ying lang 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 ylang ylang I don't know I don't know how to say it okay look look okay this is it right here let's see if you can if it'll auto zoom in. No, it's not zooming in. You acting crazy, camera. You acting crazy. But this is Lavender Yang Lang. I'll write it in the description box. But y'all, this scent is amazing. And I love it. I got it at Whole Foods. And it's African Black Soap. And I just love this stuff it really cleanses my skin I really like the fact that I can use it in my hair I can use it to shower you know as body wash and I can use it for my face that tells me a lot when you can use you know one product for hair body and face um, this is in like an all-natural product you know no synthetic fragrance no animal testing no non GMO no par parabens or however you say the word, but I love this stuff, guys. They have different scents if you if you don't like the lavender lang lang scent. Um, but this stuff is amazing, especially those who are acne prone, who have acne prone skin or sensitive skin. You guys definitely try this. Black soap is just amazing. I've used it before, a different brand, and I've definitely seen uh, results in in my skin clearing up more. Um, I definitely recommend that you try it. It's only like $7.99 or $8.99, but it's worth it. You guys got to definitely try it. It doesn't have all those ingredients or chemicals in it that I can't even pronounce or read. This just has like a neem extract, shea butter, palm, kernel oil, and the yin yang oil and lavender oil. You guys got to try that. You'll like it. The next thing I want to share is the Melanie Gleam Bronze um, Body Radiance Liquid. I got the liquid one. I think they used to have powders. I'm not sure if they still have it or not, but I got this because I've kept hearing about it. Um, a lot of makeup artists use this, and this stuff is amazing. Um, I like it for putting it on my skin, especially like in the summertime. You know, I got some weddings to go to, you know, nice events where, you know, it's just got to show those legs um, and them arms. And I'm just going to rub a little bit on my skin. And look, y'all, do y'all see the difference? Look at that. This stuff is just, it's just amazing. Look at that glow compared to this hand. Y'all see the difference? I mean, and this goes, this product goes with all skin types. This is the deep bronze. You know, I love to look bronzy. Like, I love looking glowy, especially in the summertime. And you can use it as a moisturizer. It says you can use it as a moisturizer. You can rub it on your skin. You can rub it in your body. You can mix it with your foundation. It's just really good stuff if you want that nice, sun-kissed, golden, flawless, like I just came from the Bahamas, mahi-mahi, cha-cha, all that. This is the product to go to. The next product I want to talk about is the Embrolease. I'm definitely feeling this product. I love this. You can use it as a primer, as a moisturizer, you know, um, you know, apply it to your skin and then apply your foundation on. It keeps your foundation on. It keeps your foundation look flawless, looking flawless. It really hydrates and moisturizes your skin. A lot of makeup artists, celebrity makeup artists as well, use this product. And it just really makes your skin look flawless. It's a great primer fill in whatever you call it but this is amazing i love this stuff like you guys gotta try it it's definitely pricey um that's why i got the small one for now it's definitely pricey like um i think this one was 
I can't remember how much it costs, but usually it's like $20 or something like that, if, if I'm not mistaken. But I ordered it off eBay as well as the Melanie Gleam. I did like a bid, so I got this one for like $9.99 or $10. This stuff is definitely expensive too, but it's worth it. it it's great stuff. So you guys got to try this if you're looking for a primer in one, and a moisturizer in one, and it's just looking to get that nice finish when you apply your foundation. I definitely recommend that. So lately this summer, I've been kind of looking for that perfect red lipstick. You know, it's, it's summer's going to be, I think, on the 20th, like in two weeks or a week and a half, and you know, it's time for going out to dinner, you know, rooftops and happy hours and all that good stuff and events and parties and I'm just looking for the perfect red so I found two red lips that I really 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 love and OMG I love it so the first one is the Sephora red long I forget the name of it I, I don't know the name what is this one called um it is the oh sister can't read it's number one and it's the Sephora matte liquid gloss it dries down matte but it is number one um this color like if you're looking for that classy sexy red that just really you know your lips will be making a statement when you walk in the room and everybody's just like blown away you guys gotta try this because i like it because it dries down and it's matte and it stays on all day and it's just a sexy nice red like every woman has to have red you know in their makeup wardrobe everyone you, you always gotta have red it just this color right here y'all makes such a statement it's one of my favorite reds another one of my favorite reds is NARS um by dragon I mean NARS and it's called dragon girl and it's a lip pencil this one is also another one of my favorites that I'm feeling like I've worn this a lot like actually I've worn both of them people are like uh stop what is that red on your lip like that red is beautiful and these both of these reds go with everyone's skin tone no matter how light you are or how dark you are it goes with everyone's skin tone it's a nice red it's not that shiny juicy berry lip red even though that's pretty too but you know i love mattes please try those lips out y'all so it's the sephora number one matte matte dry down lip color it's just like Sephora number one like this it looks like this and then this is the NARS Dragon Girl definitely love those another color that I've been feeling lately and I actually have it on and this one is the yeah relentlessly red matte y'all come you you know this lip color look good like come on just keep it real just be real y'all know this lip color look good like cute or not let me touch it up a little bit let me put a little bit more I mean I don't have to say nothing about this lip color Y'all know y'all were looking through the video like, hmm, what lip color is that? It's like I'm playing. But, y'all, Relentlessly Red, that's a classic. I mean, that I've been feeling that color lately. Because, you know, I've been going through my makeup, doing some spring cleaning. And I saw I saw the red. I was like, oh, dang, not the red. It's like a reddish, magenta-ish color. And I was like, dang, Relentlessly Red, man. Let me pull that out. I, I love it. I mean, look it. And when I put that Melanie Gleam bronzy thing on my skin and this lip y'all i'ma look so exotic like i'm from brazil hello i'm from brazil y'all know shoot y'all better get those products honey the next thing i'm feeling is mac blush pink swoon i love pink blush always on the search looking for that number one favorite pink blush and i found it in this pink swoon usually i wear another cup pink i can't remember the name of that pink but I have it in some of my other videos, but the Pink Swoon does it for me. I love it. And it goes with a lot of people's skin tones. Like, I love this blush. It's so pretty in summary. I have it on now. And it's not like your bright, bright, bam, in your face pink. It's like, okay, a little pink. Like that, you know. You guys got to try this blush. The next, pro the next product I wanted, uh, that's my favorite for May, is that I got. And the brand is called... It's smeared off a little bit. Candy Brow Tint, I think. Candy Brow Tint. I think they're based in Atlanta, Georgia. I will leave the information below. But it looks like this. And this is the actual brow tint in dark brown. And this is the, I guess, the applicator. Or it's like, I don't know what, what you call this. But you mix this, these two together. And then you apply it on your brows with an angle brush. 
and leave it on for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and when you wipe it off you have you know you have a really nice um full brow like it really looks like your brows have been threaded and they're kind of like filled in naturally like it really tints your brows it lasts for like about two weeks about two weeks some say three but for me about one week and a half to two weeks um but this stuff is amazing because it just really makes your brow look naturally full and pretty like you guys gotta try this i got these two together for it was 15 dollars, which is not bad and I, if you're interested i can leave the link below but i really love this brow tint stuff so if you're going on a vacation you know um i would definitely suggest this you know so your brows are beat and on fleek all the time like when you wake up you know like when your boyfriend or your you, you dating somebody new and they be like babe let's go swimming so i know it's real you know your face look normal your brows, honey, he gonna be like, dang, those brows on fierce, man. I'm telling you, you guys gotta try this stuff. I love, I love that brow tint. It just really looks like my brows like were naturally threaded and arching full, like beautiful brows. Like, please try it. The next thing I want to talk about, and okay, yeah, everybody's been talking about it. I'm kind of late on it. I mean, I did try it, and I didn't like it at first, but I got it again. And I freaking love it. This right here, the LA Pro Concealer. This is in Creamy Beige. I have this on now as a highlight and I love this stuff. I mean, it speaks for itself. For like $3.99, $3.99 I think, or $2.99, you can get it at the hair store. I got mine at the beauty supply store or get it online. Like that stuff, this stuff is amazing. Um, it blends really well. Um, the color is great. The consistency is great. The texture is great try this if you're looking for a really good concealer slash highlighter for a very affordable price $2.99 or $3.99 LA Girl Pro Concealer amazing the next thing I want to talk about is my favorite palette that I've been using a lot is the L'Oreal yeah new palette number two you can get this at CVS or I think Rite Aid or Walmart or Target I love this palette this palette has been definitely in my reaches things to go to like things to get right away or things to use um, it just has all these pretty girl colors. If you look at my video, what's in my bag, I had this palette on my eyes. And I just love these colors. Like, I love the variety of color it has. It's just soft, pretty, feminine colors. Like, I love this palette. I, I really love it. One of my friends actually, she said she bought this palette as well. And she loved it. You, this is, they have the other palette that's a different color. Um, I think it's like more bronzies and browns. But I, I always have that. But I really just love this LA Girl. I mean, I'm sorry, L'Oreal Nude Palette Number Two. I, I really love the colors. I really do. You guys gotta try that. The next thing I want to talk about is this. As you, I'll leave the link below to my um, video I did the um, lip peel off, and I did the lip and brow peel off. The brow peel off, okay, it didn't really move me so much. I really liked it though. It lasted. It's cool. I think a lot of. I think you guys should try it. But this right here, I love this stuff. Like. I really love this stuff like it tints my lips and it stays on all day and it looks like my natural lip color like this is like this peachy color is like my natural lip color like I really like this stuff I really enjoyed it so if you want to see the video for that I'll leave that in the description box as, as description box box as well the next thing I want to talk about is I talked about this before but I'm gonna help y'all out and remind y'all and, and, and let you know again like look this NARS Kimi Radiant Concealer if you haven't yet gotten it get it I'm telling you this thing gives the best coverage ever like I like both I really do I don't know which one I like better or not but this NARS really I don't know I can't describe it it just I like both I use this one for more so for highlighting and I use this one for coverage so I love this one for coverage and I love this one for highlighting this NARS radiant concealer is amazing and I know y'all talking over there like talking about she already talked about that well I'm helping you out boo-boo and I'm going to remind you about this product okay you can thank me later so the other thing I want to talk about is this oh this Chanel chance perfume did you smell it? I just sprayed it. Oh, it smells so good. Did you guys smell that? <sighs> My uncle works for Chanel and he always sends me perfume. So he sent me one of these. You know, a sister didn't buy because a sister can't afford it. And I love this. I really love this. It's feminine. 
Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that Marc Jacobs perfume, the Daisy one. So it does kind of remind me of that. This smells so beautiful. It's such a nice summer evening fragrance. Like if you're going to dinner with friends, happy hour, and you just want to swift them away, you better spray this, honey. This smells so good. I've been getting so many compliments on this when I wear it. Like they're like, what is that? I'd be like, oh, Chanel, honey. Oh, Chanel. It smells so good. Another thing I want to talk about is the Trader Joe's coconut oil. I don't remember if I talked about this in my April favorites, but I'm reminding you again. I'm helping you out again, letting you know if you haven't got this yet, you need to go to Trader Joe's and get this. This is the best makeup remover ever. It's your most natural way of moving makeup. It's coconut oil. It just it, it leaves your skin hydrated. Coconut oil is really good for your skin anyway. Please get this. That stuff just removes your makeup it just breaks it down right away makeup wipes do really well too but this when you when you get that cotton ball or whatever you use the sponge this takes the makeup away right away all that eyeliner waterproof you won't even have to scrub this takes it away that stuff is amazing coconut oil is also good for your hair it's also good to you know take a teaspoon of it every now and then it's also good to gargoyle with for me for a few minutes um or it's called like oil pulling this stuff is amazing next thing I want to talk about is Bragg's apple cider vinegar I love this stuff I usually take a teaspoon of it um, every other day or so or you know if I'm having a stomach ache I take this or if I ate like if I ate something greasy sometimes it could hurt my stomach I'll take this I use this sometimes to cleanse my skin this stuff is the best thing ever. Everybody knows apple cider vinegar. Bragg's apple cider vinegar is really amazing. It has a lot of health benefit to it. Health benefits to it. I like to pour just a little bit on my salad. Um, but you know, when you're using it, just be careful because it. I guess the um, what is it called? The um, acid can kind of get to your teeth a little bit. Um, so that stuff's good stuff. So the other thing I want to talk about is. these these kiss lashes y'all these kiss wispy lashes I have them on now I have to go all over the place to look for these every Walmart I have to go look for them because they're always sold out like these lashes I use these on myself on my clients these lashes are the best lashes by far that I've used I, I love these like I think that for now on I'm just gonna only use these on my clients they look good on every clients eye shape they look good on anyone's eye like it just makes your eyes look so flirtatious and dreamy and pretty y'all know these lashes look good y'all know quit playing but please y'all if y'all Walmart and y'all see these kiss lashes in number 11 get you some they also sell the five pack which I got today I got so lucky I'm so happy I found it because they're so hard to find and they're only eight dollars online I was trying to buy them online from some random website because apparently they don't have them on the Walmart website and they were trying to charge a sister fifteen dollars <laughs> fifteen dollars fifteen dollars no these lashes are really beautiful guys I, those are my favorite lashes by far seriously those are my favorite lashes by far. The next thing I want to talk about is this gorgeous, this gorgeous necklace. Look at this. Y'all, do y'all see that? I have another one in my Get Ready With Me video. This is a different one. Do y'all see that bling? Oh my God. I got this from Aldo Accessories and it was on sale. Y'all, it speaks for itself. Do you know, look how good it look on that black. It's, that's just so beautiful. Auto Accessories has some of the best accessories ever. Like that necklace, you pair it with a really nice sleek bodycon type of dress. Woo, child. Yes, honey. Amen. The next thing I want to talk about is the Smith Cosmetics Folio, I think. Yeah, Folio. I love this. Especially for artists or people who just love to keep their makeup brushes somewhere. This is amazing look at this so this is a zipper thing it comes with I put some of my extra small brushes in it and this is how it looks excuse me I don't have all my brushes in it because some of them are washing but look at that it's awesome let me turn it and then I have this for my bigger brushes and that is amazing so you can put all your brushes in here 
I'll leave the link below for this, but this has been the best thing ever. It helps me to keep my brushes organized and easy to reach when I'm doing makeup. Y'all saw that easy to reach when I'm doing makeup. Love this. And I think that's one last thing I want to talk about is the best thing since May. Um, The best thing, my favorite item in May is this. Ah! Yo. Yo, this camera, this is a Sony A5100 camera. Everybody who told me about this camera was not lying. This camera is the truth. If you want those flawless Instagram pictures, if you want flawless pictures of your client's work, I mean of your client's makeup that you did, this is the camera that you need to get. That camera is amazing, like, you got to invest into your craft, like whatever it is, you know, if you need to get pictures, invest into your craft and, you know, invest in a really good camera. Like this is my baby. Love it. All right, guys, I think that is it. We covered everything. So I really hope you guys enjoyed my May, May favorites. Um, I didn't have a lot. You know, but I just wanted to show, share with you what I was really feeling in the month of May. So, guys, I will see you next time for my June favorites. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. Please like and subscribe and share. And I would love to hear what you thought of my video in the description box. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Deuces.